there is something that I learned about the scale of something and how many hands and heads and hearts it takes to get something from the page to the screen. And that was really amazing for me and also kind of took the pressure off me a little bit in my mind because, you know, you hear the bell ring and you hear uh, rolling, blah, blah, blah. And you just like, it's like this weird chain reaction of everyone that either, you know, picks something up yeah. or puts something down or plugs yeah. something in. And you're like the very last cog in a machine. Yeah. So, you know, that kind it's of way. It's the best feeling, absolutely. Yeah. But it's kind of like, oh, I'm just here. I'm going to do my little thing. And you're kind of, if the show happens, it's only because so of all many. these other people 100%. doing all this job behind the scene. And I think yeah. as the actor, you're like, you know yourself, yeah. Yeah. you know, you're the one on the screen. So yeah, yeah, okay, like you either get all the criticism or all the claims, <laughs> yeah, yeah. depending so, on yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's only yeah. down to the hard work and blood, sweat and tears of so many yeah. people. So Wow. Yeah, yeah that's so what's sad. amazing that's about really the, big, the big productions. But um, Shadow and Bone wasn't your first foray into fantasy because you filmed on Game of Thrones as I well. I did, yeah, for a hot minute. <laughs> 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 and what was that like? I mean, were you aware of how, how big the show was were you a, a fan before yeah yeah I w like I wouldn't say I was a fan I'd say I was like a mega fan like <laughs> borderline pathological like fan like I, I think Brilliant. I discovered it when it was in its um like it, third season was just about coming out and then I like went back and then had to watch seasons one to do my friends in college were like you have to leave your house <laughs> and I was like mm -mm, no no I live here now <laughs> I'm happy I'm in my safe space yeah. so yeah I was a huge fan I was very starstruck and even to be there for for the short time that I was it was really amazing because it was a part of TV history yeah. mm. it kind of changed it the, the oh, 100%, yeah. it changed the what's the like the, the map scope, yeah. yeah the scope yeah, yeah, yeah for for what TV and the possibilities of TV and and all that so yeah it felt amazing just to mm. be Involved in that. And Shadow and Bone isn't too dissimilar to Game of Thrones. Of course, it's the same kind yeah, of vibe, like for it's sure. amazing. Um, based Some... off good material, and then I think it's just, I suppose it's a bit more of a wider audience, I guess, in terms of age group, because yeah. obviously Lee Bardugo's books are for YA. And then I think what the amazing showrunners have done, like Eric Heiser and Dagan Frickland, have kind of made it push the limits on the darkness and the mature kind of level. So something there for everyone. Yeah, for like sure. Shrek. <laughs> you know, from the to the it's true. I love it. So, so many, so many movies that. nowadays you watch with your kids, you're like yeah. just, the writers were thinking about the adults. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I always yeah. think of so Simpsons great. like that. There's yeah. two levels of yeah. Simpsons. Yeah. 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 When you go back and rewatch it now, I'm like, wow, there was so much. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. so true. <laughs> well, I need to congratulate you on your IFTA nomination. Thank Two, actually, sorry, Best Actress for Lakelands and also Rising Star. Yeah. Someone besides you is going to be giving out the award for Best Actress. I know. Is this when I slipped? Do you want to practice now? Just like. I hope it does work out. Yeah. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know it all yet? No, no, I don't know. I don't, as you walk on the stage, they hand you the okay. sealed document. Sure. We, uh, we believe him. <laughs> I swear. Do you feel as a young Irish actor that you are riding on a crest of a wave in terms of like, look at the Oscars this year. Incredible Irish presence there. I mean, we've kind of talked about a feeling like there's a golden mm. age for Irish film and TV. Does it feel like that for you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, definitely in terms of internationally, to have 15 Oscar nominations, um, like that is just oh, incredible. Yeah. And I think it's, it's well overdue. I mm. think that, you know, we've been out here doing our thing for mm. a long, long time. I don't necessarily think we've gotten better. I just think maybe there's a a wealth of, or a different audience now that has been opened mm -hmm. up to us because, you know, they always say that, I was listening to, I, was, I can't remember anyone, but a bit like, um, I saw a play last night, that was it, and someone's mum was like, oh, you know, the Irish state was built by, by artists and that, like, in terms of the Abbey Theatre and all that, so I think we have this mm -hmm. golden heritage Irish. in terms of, you know, um, playing and players and storytellers and, and everything, so it's... Um, I think that's always been there, but uh, but I guess now it's just being recognised internationally.